Hi, good morning for everybody. Uh, can you see my presentation? Oh, yes, works perfectly. Okay. Um, okay, good morning for everybody. Um, I am Graciela Martinez. I am the head of LACNIC CSERT. So now I'm going to give a, a quick overview of LACNIC and the CSERT, and then I'm going to um, um, share with you some statistics and, and some specific uh, works that we do with the staff within LACNIC. Um, so, um, LACNIC is the Internet Address uh, Registry for Latin America and the Caribbean. As you see, we are uh, we have presence in 33 territories or countries, and we manage the IPv4, IPv6 uh, autonomous systems and DNS reverse um, resources of the Internet. Um, uh, why does LACNIC promote uh, actions related to cybersecurity? Okay, uh, we have the administration of the information of the database, the, the WHOIS database. And so we are seen as, a, as the hub uh, for as a hub for the community. So um, they when they look uh, up for uh, the information on, on the WHOIS, and they say, okay, uh, they say LACNIC, okay, I'm going to report to LACNIC uh, my problem. So um, what we do is we provide different uh, security activities because we think that that is uh, very um, useful for our community, like uh, by trainings, conferences, and we, um, we support different uh, um, investigations um, in, in two or three weeks, we are going to publish the last one that is protocols over UDP that allow amplification attacks and how is the state of the art and the actions that we took uh, within our community. So, uh, 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 LACNIC, uh, we established a CSERT uh, many years ago, but we called uh, the CSERT uh, started their operations last year. And we have all our constituency are LACNIC members, and we have uh, we provide a, a report, uh, a reporting point for, for people that are looking where for, to provide um, to us for help when they uh, have pro uh, security problems. And I'm going to show you some statistics that we see within the, our region. And these statistics involves all the IP uh, resources of our region, only that. Uh, so uh, as we can see, for example, from other organizations, uh, always report uh, problems, security problems, and we uh, we can see the phishing that is uh, the most popular scam. And it has been like this since we started working uh, since 2015, that we created um, some services and we have seen phishing at the top all of this year. So uh, we have to go on working with these problems. In, it's almost a 50% of our incidents that we are uh, that we see that are uh, phishing attacks. And um, we see some botnets. This is a useful, this is very useful for our administrations, for the administrators to take uh, actions in within their systems and see what is going on in the region. And why reporting to LACNIC? Okay, because people don't know, sometimes they don't know the difference between a, an organizations that uh, handle domains versus th those that handle IPs. And many people, as somebody said before, don't know uh, who or where to report a problem to. So um, that's uh, something that we have to provide the, the, the users. And some problems that when we manage phishing reports, for example, is the GDPR because we don't have contact available. And sometimes uh, the, the abuse uh, is not responsive. Uh, it's very hard to get the right uh, contact in order to, to, dig, to take down those, those phishing because it's not uh, like blocking uh, an IP because that may cause a, a disaster uh, for for many organizations. So we have to take care and, and and be very careful when we ask for a takedown. 
So uh, unfortunately, we have uh, we are members of anti fishing working group, and they are always collaborating with us, like others, like Global and and First and, and Team Camry and so on. So uh, I'm going to show you some attack attack uh, attempts against our staff because because uh, what what we should do? We have to start working. Uh, at home at our organizations as well it's not only for our clients okay so uh, for example these are attacks attempts types against the staff the unique uh, unique attempts okay we, we receive more but different types different unique types i'm not sure if my spanish is it means english is like <laughs> Uh, correct, but uh, we we receive general ten dif nine different general phishings, malware, spare phishing, and scams. And I'm now uh, I'll show you some of these examples um, that we use to train our staff uh, with security awareness. And for example, this one uh, the 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 they said your mailbox is is full and they created a, um, like an email and we showed our staff that that email uh, doesn't come from LACNIC.net, that comes from info at tavola.com and uh, we showed them that th this uh, if they uh, put the mouse on this link we show that the link uh, was this one and what uh, and we show them as well that if they click on that link they will uh, this screen will be provided to the user and this is a uh, the correct um, web page of LACNIC so they um, if they don't if we don't train them uh, they will probably fail uh, fall in, in this scam because it's like it comes from LACNIC has our our logo and it was very well done. And another example that we we used that it's, it's real is uh, the, the the a fraud attempt uh, with the CFO of, of LACNIC, Diego Mena. He is the CFO, and they try to get uh, a payment. So uh, here it says power is payment. And um, uh, what what we see is that. Uh, we show to the staff that this is, of course, uh, a very bad Spanish. It's bad written, and it's not the the common language that we use uh, to to send emails between us. Even if we receive from other countries that are English speakers or or Portuguese or some some or yes, those are the languages uh, that we handle with our. Uh, members, so that will be a, a very uh, bad um, uh, uh, body of, of of an email. So we we try to to help them to to be aware and to realize where where when it is a scam or not. And the the outcomes that we have is the staff is more aware. So we now we receive a lot of reports, and then. Uh, we saw last last week it was very interesting because one of the of the staff uh, she re, she was trying to get into the website of the bank and uh, she saw that they were asking her some uh, confidential information so he was wondering why and he used another mean to and he she called the bank and ask why are you asking me or is is it right yes is it right uh, you are in the correct website so we train them uh, to not only to go on on the website but that they can try another means to connect and to uh, be aware of of or of what is going on Asiana, so, i'm sorry to interrupt last minute yes I'm I'm ending um, deploy uh, as a summary. I, we would say that deploy regular awareness, security aware. Well, it's um, it's okay, but you have to tailor uh, it for the staff and share information is very uh, important and build uh, team relationships with a multi-stakeholder approach. It's uh, the the very it's a good thing to do in order to 
to have a, 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 a safer internet. And um, thank you very much. I hope that I am on time. <laughs> You're perfect on time, Graciela. Thank you very much. Please oh, thank you. share your contact details in the chat. Oh, no, no. And, okay. Um, thank uh, you. Thank you for, for being here. I really appreciate it.